So let's not forget why we're here. It's the NHS. Everybody loves the NHS. We are the children of the NHS. We was born into the NHS. There was a time where it did not exist. There was a time where if you was ill, you died or got better. There was nothing in between. If you was lucky, you maybe found a charity hospital. They were terrible. Tuberculosis was normal. It wiped out a large portion of our country. So I'm going to put a little thing on from a book called Harry Leslie Smith. Now, why is he important? When he was born in 1923, he was also an RAF veteran, so one of our actual heroes. And this is what he thinks about the NHS. To this world in the rough and ready year of 1923. I'm from Barnsley and I can tell you that my childhood, like so many others from that era, was not like an episode from Downton Abbey. Instead, it was a barbarous time. It was a bleak time and it was an uncivilized time because public health care didn't exist. No one in our community was safe from poor health, sickness and disease. In our home, TB came for my eldest sister, Marion. Tuberculosis tortured my sister and left her an invalid that had to be restrained with ropes tied around her bed. My parents did everything in their power to keep Marion alive and comfortable, but they just didn't have the dosh to get her the best clinics find her the best doctors or the right medicines. Instead, she wasted away before our eyes until my mother could no longer handle her care and she was dispatched to the workhouse infirmary where she died at the age of 10, 87 years ago. Mom and Dad couldn't afford to bury their darling daughter so like the rest of our country's indigent, she was dumped nameless into a pauper's pit. My family story isn't unique. Sadly, rampant poverty and no health care were the norm for the Britain of my youth. That injustice galvanized my generation to become, after the Second World War, the tide that raised all boats. Election Day 1945, was one of the proudest days in my life. I felt that I was finally getting a chance to grab destiny by the shirt collar. And that is why I voted Labour and for the creation of the NHS. We must never ever let the NHS free from our grasp because if we do your future will be my past I am not a politician a member of the elite or a financial guru but my life is your history and we should keep it that way so that was Harry Leslie Smith. Unfortunately, we lost him a few months ago. Um, almost hit the 100 mark. He was one of our RAF veterans. Um, somebody that the words, when I first heard them, reduced me to tears, I must admit. You know, I don't want, I don't want my children growing up with tuberculosis and dying at the age of 10 like his sister does. You know, if my niece is ill, I want her to be able to go to a hospital, not worry about having the money or the insurance to be treated and not to be treated like a pauper. We have some wonderful, wonderful nurses, doctors, porters, cleaners, everybody that runs the NHS from the bottom upwards. We should never, ever let it go. 
Our NHS is not for sale. It happens over my dead body, and I mean that literally. How many of you here know people who are dependent on insulin because they're diabetics? Or have had cancer and needed chemotherapy, and needed radiotherapy, and needed to go into hospital to get scanned? These things we take as granted these days. But if medicines are interrupted, if isotopes coming across from all around the world are blocked because we have no deal, because somebody decided to do something stupid, people die. I'm insulin independent. I can't put up with a little bit of insulin. I can't give it every other day. I can't have it once a week. If I don't get it, I die. And that is a large proportion of our country when it comes to the medication. We should never, ever allow that to happen. I'm sure we all know somebody who works for the NHS. When you see them, don't treat them like it's an everyday job. They are there when we need it most. Tell them, thank them, give them a hug, take them out for a drink, whatever it has, I, I, I speak English now, whatever it happens to be. Don't treat them like it's somebody who serves you coffee, but they serve beautiful coffee, but they don't save our lives. Don't treat them like somebody who takes your poll tax every day. These people save your life. I'm nobody. I'm just a working class lad. I am absolutely nothing else. I'm not the liberal elite. I don't have millions of pounds to go around. I don't get paid by anybody else. I do this because I care. Thank you very much.